My name is uh, Helen Magutu Amakobe. I work for the International Labour Organization. I'm based in Kenya, working with uh, HIV and AIDS and also social protection. I think it's a very exciting uh, workshop and the right uh, workshop is uh, a new approach to me. But I find it uh, very interesting, innovative in terms of uh, being able to brainstorm around ideas and uh, be able to put your ideas and crystallize them into, into solid material that will translate into a book. I think that is very, very interesting. I find it also interesting, um, the fact that it's been very, very inter interactive and uh, the kind of approach that has been used. Um, I would say that that has been very innovative in terms of even starting from just the basics of breaking the ice and uh, getting to know each other in a very innovative way, very creative, and uh, we were able to instantly relate with each other. And that opened up the floor for us to be able to air our views in an open way. And uh, yeah, everybody respects each other's opinion, which I think is a good thing. An interesting one um, is the one for ILO Zambia. And um, I thought the fact that they had picked on one sector, which was the construction sector to make a difference, was very instrumental, using the green economy uh, perspective as an entry point and engaging starting from the institutional to the legal and uh, boiling down to the workers themselves and bringing on board not just the employers, the workers and uh, the government, but bringing on board other um, associations that impact on the construction sector to be able to push uh, issues of policy, to be able to push uh, an increase in access to social protection for the construction workers who are highly mobile. I thought that was a very interesting approach that uh, we may consider replication in Kenya. I think it's important for us to look at uh, social protection flaws. And I believe that if we are able to look at social protection from the flaws perspective, then a lot of issues that we are discussing here would be addressed. Because then we, when we look at the recommendation 202 and what it defines as social protection flaws, which are nationally defined, and we address all the four components of that, then we'll be able to, to address extension of uh, social protection for informal sector workers. So I would want to see in the book, what are the steps towards moving to universal pensions, for instance, social pensions that would be able to address uh, from a rights perspective and address now including the informal economy workers. So from my uh, perspective, then I would want us uh, to address the issue of implementation of the recommendation 202 of the ILO.